turn off this music. Boop. Close everything else. Hey, 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 what's up? Boop. Oh, I just realized something. I'm probably streaming in like... So, yeah. I'm streaming in a... 1080p 60. I don't know if that's... I don't know if Twitch likes that or not. Alright, so... <laughs> How many carrots? Man, I haven't had carrots in forever. Oh, that was a weird mouth sound. I'm alright. Just thought I'd relax for a hot sec. What's up, Shari? I don't believe it. You Did you put a manhole cover here? I love it. It's so Ivalice. I sure did. Also, I changed my island flag to Ricardo Milos. Because he got that. Hi, Shai! So not only do I have Ricardo Milos as my island flag, but if we go into my house, I might have shown this off on stream before. But if you go into my house, and you go to my bedroom, Ricardo Milos is also watching me while I sleep. So, that's a thing. I thought it was funny. So what am I going to do, actually? I'll probably do what I do normally and just, like, fish a lot, but also... Oh no, I should go to other islands. Let me get some Nook Mile tickets. Because, uh... It was a D20, yes. What's up, Nook? Once again, for the diligent repayment of your home loan. Yes, yes. I must ask, were your prompt payments motivated by a desire for expansion? Maybe. Because if so, I have good news. I would be more than happy to extend your further credit for construction. Do please come see me if you'd like to discuss the details more, hmm? Mr. Nook. You know that's what I'm about to ask you. I looked- I watched the video of Ethan getting the tarantulas, and that is a lot of work for like... A, I mean, it's probably a big payoff, but like... Man, I just don't want to spend all the time doing that, you know? Um, oh yeah, I was gonna get Nook Miles. Yes, redeem. No, I don't want to do anything else. Getting tired there, Mr. Nook? Um, about my home. I want to expand. Add another room to get you a little more space. 548,000 bells! I think you could have gotten... Uh, I mean... Yeah, he, he, I think the box reduces the amount of bells you get by like 20%. Oh, it occurs to me, this might be a good time to consider a new color for your roof, don't you think so? There are eight color options. Would you please select a roof color from this list? Give me purple. Oh yeah. Well, 
Well, see, that's just one of the game, one of the ways the game, like, kind of entices you to play between certain time periods. It does that with a couple things too, like, you can only buy turnips on Sunday bef between 4 a.m. and noon. And since because I sleep real late, or I go to sleep real late, I'm gonna catch this tiger beetle <laughs> real quick. Um, I wake up afternoon, so I, ha I always ha end up having the time travel like a couple hours back and then time travel forward. But that's that's the charm. I don't mind it too much. Yo, I went on um I don't know if you guys are familiar with DJ Cutman. He's like a video game remixer, music producer. But um he opened his island earlier. <laughs> and, uh because his bell prices were like it was like 440 543 bells per turnip, and I had a ton of turnips to sell. I went to his island, and shit you not, it took me a half an hour to get to Nook's Cranny and then leave his island because there was just so many people coming, going back and forth. It was hell. <laughs> it was fun. It was fun, though. Uh, use Nook Miles ticket. Uh, time for takeoff. I'm gonna go find- I'm gonna go to random islands and try to f get more villagers. I just had my first, uh, person move in. Um... They had visited the campsite that I made. And I I got Pietro. Or Pieter- Pietro. As my first... Villager. <laughs> Because what we're trying to do is that we're trying to get more people onto my island to entice KK Slider to hold a concert. Alright. What do we have on this here island? Looks like oranges. Okay, that's my native fruit. Hmm. Not a great looking island. It's got this little like island. There's a. It's kind of actually that's kind of cool. It's got like a spiral pattern right there. Pretty neat. I'm gonna catch a snail. Come here, a snaily snail. Yeah, this island. Even if I tried to do the tarantula trick, this island wouldn't be conducive to tarantulas. I don't think. That rock looks like a really chody penis. Does it not? <laughs> Yay! Come on, fishy. I need some good fish. Or I could catch another fucking dace. No, you fucker. Wrong way again. Wish these fish would stop turning around as soon as I cast. Stop! Please, just... Bite my hook. And it's another day, so that's... Well, you can't win them all. I suppose. I can't get around that tree, apparently. It said no. Ooh, a centipede. I'm gonna catch it. Yeah. Gotcha. And I couldn't even see him because he was behind a tree. It's raining here, so it should spawn some good fish. 
I'd love to get a tuna or an ore fish. <coughs> or I could catch a sea bass. That's always motherfuck. My fishing pole broke. Ugh, I had to shed it. I hate it so much. I hate it when my shit breaks. Like, honestly, they could easily patch out, like, weapon durability. So, I personally, honestly, don't believe it has a place in a game like Animal Crossing. In a fucking open world RPG like Breath of the Wild was, sure, fine. But in a game like Animal Crossing, why is there tool du durability? <laughs> I need tree branches for the fucking fishing pole. Or I could just buy a fishing pole from Wilbur. Hey, bird for brains. Nope. Nope. Give me tool. Hundred miles isn't a bad price for a new fishing pole, I don't think. Give a squawk if you need anything else. Let's just get this crafted. This island sucks. <laughs> Like, Jesus Christ. And, like, it's just all the same fish that I have on my island. So, effectively, I've probably wasted 2,000 Nook Miles, but... It's fine, because I can always get another... Another ticket. Come on, fish. Are you fucking kidding me? Do you see it? There. Jeez. Ooh, a one bite. A one biter. Olive flounder. My reaction time is really bad. Gosh, diggity dang. Yeah, there's just nothing on this island. It kind of fucking sucks. That one, see, I'm either too slow or too quick, or I scare the fucking fish away. Oh, uh, <laughs> why am I bad? I got that little fish and not the big one like I wanted. <laughs> Reeled in too fast because I suck. You fucker. Why is fishing in this game so fucking hard? People want to talk about Stardew Valley's fishing system. It is far easier than fucking this. Ooh, there's a giant water bug right there. I'm gonna catch that.
Just gonna go ahead and yoink. Can't remember how much those sell for, but it's quite a bit. Can I get like a good fish and not like ones that spawn on my island already? Shy, this is physically hurting me. I'm leaving this fucking island. Wait. Not before I catch a snail though. Yoink. Bell bottom punk, this is stove top electric razor. Do you require this is ah Wilbur? Why are you like this? November Oscar Whisker. It's a real thing he said. Hang on, I'm just checking Discord right a second. There we go. <sighs> Let me go buy another Nook Miles ticket. And cry. And how much is a giant water bug? Yeah, it would be like 3,200 or something. Or at least up near 3,000 if I just sold it to me and Tommy. Not a bad... It's an okay haul, I guess. Put stuff in my storage. Did I actually check around my island for any rare spawns? There probably won't be any, but you never know. So how are you doing right now, uh, Shy? Oh yeah, here's my newest, my newest neighbor. That's good. Okay, so here's my newest neighbor. He's a clown sheep. His name's P P P Pietro. I have a lot of cardboard left after over after all this, but that's okay. You should see the kinds of things folks are building with cardboard these days. Um. He is, a, he is a clown. Legitimately just a clown. When I first saw him, I was like, you gotta be kidding me. That's the first one that wants to move onto my island. Fine. <laughs> and I will accept him for who he is. Why is it always a sea bass? Why can't it be just like a good fish? Why has it got to be the stinky? It's 
Stinky smooth brain fish. That's what the sea bass is. Fuck! Why do I do that? My reaction time is so fucking bad. Oh hey, that beetle's back on the tr on the stump. You might. At least I got Nook Miles for it. There's something like really itchy on my butt. I know that was probably TMI, but Jesus, it's like driving me nuts, driving me butts. <laughs> oh my God, that was disgusting. All right, I need more mile tickets. Give me them. Oh, Nikki, I don't know if you're still in chat, but um, I have so many Nook Mile tickets, or so many Nook Miles. Cause I don't fucking use them for anything. <laughs> and I just recently started going to Mystery Islands. Oh, here's Sky. <laughs> so are you about to set a new island beachcombing record? I heard you spent yesterday collecting shells. Did I tell you? Should I tell you if I see any rare shells on the beach, Yermel? Yes, you should. Oh, hey, Jacob's out and about too. Hey, Yen. You keep checking up on me today, huh? You're so much yummier when there's lots of plants around. It's like candy for your lungs, you feel. Jacob, you're fucking weird. All right, let's go to another mystery island. It's got a. Yeet the feet, skeet. Don't do that. Yummy air. It's like when you walk into a pizza restaurant and that's just all you smell. Ooh, I could just pop on to one of my friend's islands and just be like, hey. Let me go to a mystery island! Love that little, little guitar lick. It's cute. Wilbur, I swear to God, if this is the same island. Okay, it's not. It's very similar. It's the same flowers, and it's the same fruits. Why, though? There's an atlas moth over there. Alright, I can't fuck this up. 
I need this Atlas Moth. No! Oh! What kind of bullshit is that? God damn it. Every fucking time there's a fucking Atlas Moth. Really fucking pisses me off, man. Are you serious? I hit the fucking tree. Oh my god, just land in front of the fish. You fuck it. Mm. Get this fucking giant water bug instead. Stupid fucker. Come here. Stop swimming away, you fucker. Cool, I made the snail fall off its rock. What the fuck, dude? So mad at myself right now. just want nice things in Animal Crossing. But the game is telling me clearly, no, I'm not allowed. an atlas moth spawn please come here big fish oh it's a snapping turtle those are good they sell for quite a bit Come on, fish. I know you see it. Why is it always a dace? Why is it always got to be a dace? It's like the worst fish. At least this fish is alone up here. It's an old tire. You know what I'm gonna do with this? Fucking just leave it there. Worthless to me. Absolutely worthless.
Come on. A freshwater gooby. That's good. I think. I don't catch them very often. You fucker. You turned away from me. Shit, dick. Hey, come here. It's fucking fish, man. Oh, look, it's a dace! Holy shit, I hope I have some fucking space. Ah! All right, this island sucks. Yes, I'm positive. I want to fucking go. Can I get a good island, please? I thought Ryu was gonna come by and watch the stream. Seventeen K from the box. Mr. Nook. What's up? What should I do? I'll explain the last major task for Project K then. We started gathering feedback from folks on and off the island. Our focus right now should be improving the image of the island and gaining that all-important word-of-mouth marketing. I've asked Isabel to assist with coll collating the feedback, so talk to her for the latest information. I think Isabel will have some good pointers on how, to Im how we can improve the island's image as well. In short, we need to increase our population, improve the island's scenery, and turn Ivelisse into the most charming island it could be. Infrastructure is important, but let's... Let's plant flowers and use decorations to make this place look snazzy. Well then, thanks for your help. Hmm? Isabel! Oh, Maddie, good evening. Oh, of course. As Mr. Nook mentioned, I'm leading a task force that compiles feedback related to the image of our island. Okay, it's just me. Though, I have always wanted a task force of my very own. Anyway, I won't bore you with the details, Mal, but feel free to ask about island evaluations anytime. Now then, how can I help you today? Island evils? Oh, evals. Oh, wonderful! It seems you're excited to hear about the image of our island as I am to talk about it. Well, allow me to explain how the task force, that's me, collects and analyzes data from my reports. First, I conduct random polling around the island with residents, visitors, and tourists. Their feedback is then ranked using a well-known five-star system. The better the balance of natural beauty, development, and decor, the more stress the island receives. That means we need more residents and buildings, proper infrastructure, well-decorated de natural setting. Easy enough, right? But if we can achieve that perfect balance of welcoming environment, our ranking is bound to increase. As it stands, we currently have a one-star rating. Folks are feeling like we still have room for improvement. Let me to read an excerpt from the feedback I gathered. It's a place I've been quietly watching. It's a secret to everybody. I don't want it to be famous. Well, there you have it. Hmm, seems like every piece of feedback we received is from the same pulley. Well, I'm happy to hear they enjoyed themselves. We need more residents to get some word of mouth going about our island if we want a higher rating. For now, I suggest we focus on growing our population and gathering more varied feedback. 
If we want to increase the number of residents, first we need to prepare some land to sell. Once we have all that in order, we can recruit folks to move here. I suggest you visit Mr. Nook's counter and ask him about island infrastructure. I'm sure he'd be happy to help uh, help you set aside, a set aside land to sell. Oh, hey, Millie, what's up? And there you have it. Just let me know next time you'd like to hear the latest island feedback. Can I help you with anything else? Nope. Nook, let's talk infrastructure. Boom. Uh, let's sell some land. I need 10,000 bells. No, it's resident services. It's like the office at an apartment complex. <sighs> Withdraw. 10,000. All right, Nook. Sell land. Yep. Just hand over the housing kit you'll need. You should claim a plot of land for a new house, Maddie. Just use the kit when you find a good location. Off you go now. Is there anything else I can help you with? Him? Let's hold a ceremony. Yeah. I'd like to celebrate the grand opening of our campsite. Uh, that's a weird thing to celebrate, I think. But, gonna do it anyway. Now then. Welcome to our dedication ceremony honoring Ivelisse's brand new campsite. Thank you. Thanks to everyone's tireless efforts, Ivelisse is developing wonderfully, yes, yes. I do believe this campsite will bring more attention to Ivelisse. If we treat our guests well, they may consider moving here. It's just what any growing island needs. I want everyone here to stop by the campsite and have positive interactions with any guests here. Speaking of positive interactions, let's hear from someone who saw it, who saw to it that we could build the campsite. Maddie, our friendly resident representative. Anything to add? We're amazing. Yes, yes, indeed. Thank you for your heartfelt and encouraging sentiments there, Maddie. Everyone, please get ready to join me in bringing the ceremony to a close. Also, those wishing to take a commemorative photo should get ready to press the... Yes, well then. With hope for our continued growth to celebrate Evie Lisa's beautiful campsite. Hooray. Yeah, everybody's happy. Concludes our ceremony. Please just... Bleh. Stumbling over words, guys. I'm very tired. I had so much pizza. Pizza makes me fucking exhausted. And I don't know why. Let's put... You could put a house. Well, Pietro's house is right there. Soy sausage and eggs. That sounds really good, honestly. Here, you know what? Let's put this house right here in the fucking corner. I, 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 I like this right here. Yeah! Right there. It's right next to that incline. Gotta remove that tree, but I mean... They'll be real close to, to Bianca's house. Speaking of Bianca. 
Let's chat. Hey there, welcome to my humble abode, Glimmer. Everyone's talking about how you were out fossil hunting yesterday. Did you show Blather your finds? Blathers? It's so wild that a bunch of critters used to live on this island. Can't wait to find more of them. Uh, what's your favorite protein? Is it pork? Did I buy another Nook Miles ticket? Not yet. I gotta put this red snapper in the box. Oh, soy? What kind of adverse effects does it have on the environment? You find something? Oh, <gasps> Tarantula! I got it! Ha ha! I caught a fucking tarantula! Holy shit! Yo! Shy, I caught a tarantula! That's- that's only the second tarantula I've, I've seen in the game. The first tarantula that I saw and tried to catch fucking destroyed me. Kicked my ass. <clears throat> oh, I wasn't even aware of that, Millie. Finally fucking caught a tarantula. Dude, I'm so fucking stoked. Let's check in on a... Uh, what's his face? Um... I forgot his name. Oh, it's Sterling. <laughs> Friend's porch cat just had kittens. <clears throat> You're not gonna believe it, but I made a pear wall! I was out jogging the other day, and somewhere around the 53rd mile, inspiration just hit me. Or it could have been dehydration. Either way, check it out, and stay hydrated. Building it was like a hard workout routine. You know I'm all about sharing my routines. So what do you say? You wanna get built making yourself a pear wall? Uh, give me that recipe. Yeah, he only has a sleeping bag on the ground. Sterling is, um... There's nothing, there's nothing in his wardrobe. Sterling is weird. Let me go put this tarantula in storage. There are dogs outside yelling at each other. Hey, so did I hear right? You're trying to drum up some hype for Ivelisse? I hope so. I want to be able to brag to everyone that I was there before Ivelisse got big. Hyping up Ivelisse sounds like a ton of work though. 
I really do a lot for this place. Actually, I got something that I think might help. Right, so it's not huge or anything. Would showing off a sweet cypress plant be cool? What am I saying? Of course it'd be cool. Yeah, just trust me. Like, I trust me on this, so you should too. There's some dogs in the neighborhood that just, uh... Got into a big fight, and I could hear it, and it was loud and scary. I'm actually gonna shut my window. My window is loud and creaky. You know what? He can get himself clothes. We have a clothes shop. We have the Able Sisters. He can fucking buy his own clothes. You don't need me to give them to him. Cypher's plant. Place item. You know what? Actually, I think I know of a good place to put this. Let's just set it right here behind the behind the clock. Wait, guys. Sky is singing. It's so cute. So cute. Wait, I'm gonna do a I'm gonna do a thing. You're doing great things, Sky. I can't push that closer, dang. Alright, I was gonna I keep getting sidetracked the things I was gonna do. Oh. Yo, legit though, the fucking saw the sound of dogs fighting like gives me like real bad PTSD. i it activates my fight or flight, like something fierce. And I think it's because when I was in sixth grade, uh, my dog and his son got into a fight and uh, bit my hand. I have scars all over my left hand from that. Put the tarantula in storage. I'll get him when I'm ready. Now I can get a Nook Mile ticket. Hmm. I was discussing Persona romance options with somebody. <laughs> oh, decorate with flowers. The cypress plant counts as a flower? Huh. Weird. Uh, 
redeem. Come on, just give me the ticket. No. I wanna go to island. Me go to island. Me catch bug. Hopefully. Can't believe Jacksepticeye got a whole community of people to hit on Shari for no reason. Shari alerted me that there was a tarantula nearby and I bought and I got it. And it was because of Shari. I did like the one joke he made though. Or someone made it. It was in fan art in one of his uh, Reddit videos. It was like, Hey Shari, I dug your grave. Want to come try it out? I thought that was funny. Just because I like the setup of that joke. I dug you a grave. You want to try it out? All right, why is it raining on all these islands? Is that a... There's someone here. He looks like a horse. Hello? Annalise! I don't believe we've met. I'm Annalise, and you are? What a lovely name you have there, Maddie. It's a pleasure to meet you. Well, if you're ever looking for a friendly face during your island vacation, you know, you know where to find me. Wait, how about you, uh... Let me come to my island and move in. We need to get our star rating up. Spending time on an island like this is so relaxing. I feel like a movie star off on an exotic vacation. Ah, yes, I could easily spend the rest of my days basking in this sort of island life, Nipper. Come to my island! What? Are you quite serious? I remember, right? You said you're from Ivalice? It would be quite the adventure, and of course you would be there. That settles it then. I'll move to Ivalice and start a new life there, Nipper. <laughs> you won't regret this. Wonderful! I will start preparing to move right away. But, how to proceed, I wonder. Ah, a simple call to this Tom Nook fellow from Ivalice should suffice. That I can do. I'm so glad I came here today. Who knew this one trip would change my everything? Life is funny like that. Sometimes it hands you a present out of the blue. Alright, just recruited uh, my first villager just by myself. So that's cool. <clears throat> Big fish. By Took. Also, why was she on an island that's just, like, raining? But, like, why, though? No, yeah, she's pretty heckin' cool. I like her better than freaking Pietro. Pietro's cool! He's just a clown. And I have hang-ups about clowns. I love how when you catch a snail, it's like, eh, it's not much to brag about. This is fucking snail. Oh, 
Give me all the snails. Oh, if only you could make Escar go. That would sell. Come on, land in front of the fish. Motherfuck, there we go. One bite. It's a snapper. One more. How about you buy my hook? Damn it. Thought it was going to bite on three. Fuck. Message in the bottle. What'd it be? What'd it do? A backyard lawn? Huh. Interesting. Ah, I was too slow on that one. Are you kidding? That's some BS, man. That's some B to the S. Oh yeah, caught a carp. Haha. <laughs> Dake carpool. Footy. I really wish Nintendo would put in like it would have put in at least like five randomized lines that change out every time you catch the same fish. Or better yet, if it's a kiss you if if it's a fish that you've caught several times before, how about not having a dialogue box? Cherry dime! Thanks for the follow. Appreciate that very much. I'm gonna catch this tiny fish over here. Hopefully. Tiny fish! Where are you going? You... Mm. This wall. Yoink. Come on. There we go. Oh, thanks for the host, too. Huh. That's pretty heckin' cool. Appreciate that as well. All right, let's talk to Annalise one more time. I'm gonna catch a snail. Yoink. Nope. Didn't mean to bonk you in the head. Can't believe this a little island trip led to such a big adventure. It's a good reminder. You never know what life might have in store for you. She right. All right, I'm out of this island. Wilbur, take me out. I'm ready to punt pontoons and whatever the fuck. Oh boy. So let's go sell the shit that I found on that island. And then buy another Nook Mile ticket. Unless Shari finds another tarantula for me. <laughs> Why does my finger hurt? What the frick? Look at that. 
Look at that, 28,000 bells since I started streaming today. Today. Um, give me that. Give me that sweet mileage. Well, the label's still here. Almost midnight, why is she still here? Just need another one. Just give me the ticket. Also, I think Sky is still singing too. For some reason I've been listening to a lot of anime music. Anime music fucking sh shreds, man. Yep, Sky is still singing. Can't get a good picture of this tree's in the way. I'm gonna give her a round of applause for being a good bean. Hey, Dragon Ball GT has a pretty good soundtrack. Unfortunately, I haven't watched a lot of Dragon Ball GT, so I can't remember like a lot of it, but I know like a lot of what I heard is really good. <laughs> it's too bad the Dragon Ball GT wasn't a great show. You dig? Uh, just take me somewhere, Orville. Yeah, it has good moments, but like... Eh. I wouldn't call only having 64 episodes rushed, but it just wasn't, it just wasn't a good series. I realize my chat box goes above my face cam quite a bit, so I'm going to put it right there. That looks a lot better. Ooh, this island looks a little promising. It's a bamboo island. That's always cool. Can dig up bamboo shoots. Y'all know I'm all about these snails. Snail life. Man, when I hit when I hit affiliate and I start unlocking like emote slots, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get it I'm gonna have someone make a snail emote. Specifically an Animal Crossing style snail. 
I see that pill bug getting away. You ain't running away that easy. Come here. Yep. Come here. Oh, he ran away that easy. Also, Vixie, I know you're in chat. I'm not letting that pill bug get away. Ye I love early pulleys. But I squandered my hits on this. Yeah. This is a nice flat island. Isn't the trick to just like clear the island of everything and bury all your shit? And then that's how you get the tarantulas to spawn. No, come here, pill. No, pill bug. No. Cause like this would be the perfect island to to spawn tarantulas. Shy, do you remember? My memory not too good. But isn't it like you bury your shit after clearing the island? I do have to dig up like everything, don't I? Hey, poor he's playing Animal Crossing. All right, well, I'll give it a shot, I suppose. Wait, if I put all my stuff on the beach, then how would I have room in my inventory? I would have to leave like my shit here, wouldn't I? Wish I could avoid. Yeah. Unfortunately, a lot of the things that I like doing are internet based. Oh man, this is gonna take a minute. I also don't have any fruit on me, so I can't, like, increase my strength. Yeah, um, that is caused by the blue light. 
on your computer and your phone emitting from the screen um i know especially if you have like an ios device there's night shift mode that uh turns off the blue light or at least it's a anti-blue light filter and I'm, i have that turned on on both my phone and my laptop because i noticed after several weeks in quarantine that my eyes are starting to just hurt really bad and it's from all the screen time Luckily, my computer um, is an MSI laptop, so it has an anti-blue light filter on it. But I know, I don't know um, of any, like, other computer brands that do that. There probably are. I'm just unaware of them. Turning down the brightness helps a little bit, but it won't completely eliminate the issue. But yeah, definitely turning down the brightness will help a lot. I honestly don't get people who have their brightness like turned all the way up on things. Like, my sister, her phone brightness is at max all the time, and I'm just like, fucking how? Damn it. God, all these fucking flowers. I'm not gonna I, I'm not gonna do that also I don't live with my sister <laughs> so that would be very hard to do yeah I'm not, I'm not a fan of the just take their shit. I know you said it as a joke, I'm just saying. Okay, is that all the weeds? Please tell me that's all that's all the weeds, okay. I'll cut down all the bamboo trees. Yay, environmental destruction! I'm honestly surprised my axe hasn't broken yet. This is ridiculous. I know, zero coding. Oh, there goes my axe. Oh, there's weeds here that I missed. But 
But yeah, I know nothing about coding. Any particular reason, or were you just curious? Among other game devs, been. What makes you say that? That doesn't mean they put any less coding in this than they would any other game. Also, I don't think anything... I don't think a game like Breath of the Wild would be considered simple. Yeah, Nintendo makes a lot of like... Really, it's just like cute, simple games, but I mean, like, have you seen the other games that Nintendo makes? Some of them are fucking bonkers, it'll probably take forever. <laughs> hmm. Wilbur, I need an axe. Nope! No, I don't want to go home. Nothing wrong with that. There's a market for everybody. Nintendo doesn't have to cater to any one particular group. But if they want to, that's their thing. Fucking From Software caters to the... <sighs> I need wood for an axe? Are you fucking kidding me? Barian Hole. I don't think that has any bearing on the spawn rate of tarantulas. What? What's the stump that mounts the blade? What? Oh! Oh! Okay, I got really confused. I thought you were still talking about like other games or something I got really confused for a second dude no I know why I need wood for an axe I'm not dumb it's just that there's no wood on this island wait wait 
Actually, there is. <laughs> Ah, uh, but it's not the what I need. I need regular fucking... Come. Oh, I'm gonna scream! Oh, I'm gonna scream. You can eat these coconuts. Okay, there's one piece of the regular wood that I need. Actually, it's just gonna go ahead and drop these. Or plant them, I guess. There. Fucking flowers. Okay, more of that same wood. Okay. The reason I'm eating all these fruits, the bamboo shoots and, um... Oh shit, someone duetted with me on TikTok. I'm gonna have to watch that. Because if I eat 10 fruits, I'll have enough strength to completely uproot a tree with just the shovel. <sighs> this is a lot of work. I'm getting there. I mean, like, I wouldn't consider myself big yet, but, like, I have 400 followers. Well, I mean, the key is just to make consistent content. <laughs> hey, that's true. so weird that you can eat bamboo shoots. Damn it, that's not where I wanted to dig. Oh, a fossil! Fucking A! Oh, it's a pill bug. Well, then don't do it. Another thing too is just to have good hashtags. Like I've learned all the different D&D hashtags that you need to use.
You used me for land development. Oh, I don't have any gold, like, oh, there goes my shovel. I don't have anything planned for a follow goal. Because usually when I set plans for follow goals, I never hit them. For example, my main YouTube channel has been at 960 subs for, for fucking ever. And I was like, oh, I'm going to do something really cool when I hit finally hit a thousand. And it's been fucking three years. All right, shovel, let's go. Okay, this should be enough to start spawning tarantulas, right? Put a bunch of fucking flowers on the beach. I'm gonna get my net out just in case. Oh, hey, hey, hey! Fuck you, dude! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Okay, you respawn. Okay. You respawn back on the back on the island. That's good. I was so worried. Get out of your wharf roaches. All right, come out, spider fucks. Wharf roaches, go the fuck away, dude. No one likes you. Go! What? How? How? What the fuck? What the heck? I'm gonna keep my camera like this so I fucking see him faster. There's one. But if you, how are you, how do you catch him if you don't have your net ready? <sighs> Do 
getting my ass kicked by fucking spiders. If I can't catch one tarantula by the two hour mark, I'm gonna be real mad. I spent so much time demolishing this island. There's one. No, God fucking damn it. Mother fuck. I feel like that one should have been it. Okay, they don't attack if you approach with your with your net down. Interesting. Got you, motherfucker. Oh. That's at least one. Oh shit, that tarantula ran up into the fucking tree. Get out of here. Get out of the tree. Bitch. Just to clarify, Shy, I'm not mad at you. I was mad at the situation. No, go away, man face stink bug. I want to get at least, like, maybe two more. So I have one for the museum. Now I have one to sell. No, I don't need you, tiger beetle. I need tarantulas. Tarantulas. Fuck off! You fuckers. Okay. I heard something drop in the basement and actually made me jump a little bit. Might not even have been the basement, might have just been the kitchen. It's just my uncle. 
go, hey buddy boy. Do you want to tussle with the muscle? Come here, eight-legged spider freak. I'm gonna get you. Fuck, no, you got me instead. Oh, man. I've been destroyed so many times by tarantulas. Now you're tiger beetle. Oh, hey, hey, hey. A tarantula. What's up, bud? I'm gonna get ya! Ho, 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 ho! Ho, 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 ho! The time to strike is when they fucking jump. Get out of here. Stinky other bugs. Don't need you. I only need tarantula. Hmm. Gotta wait for them to spawn, I guess. Millie, do you like tarantulas? Weird question, I know. Just curious. Stinky tiger beetles! Oh, don't squash spiders, man. Not unless they all up in your biz. Spiders keep the creepier bugs away. That's why I don't kill spiders anymore. The only time I'll kill a spider if it's in my personal space. <gasps> Atlas Moth. Well, if they're in my room, I don't care, but I mean like if they're on like on my desk or in my coffee mug like the one time You're done. You're done, son It's like the only time I'll kill a spider anymore Yeah, see you don't kill the spiders you won't have an ant problem. You also won't have issues with silverfish or house centipede, centipedes, which are the nastiest fucking things in this existence. I want to ruin these flowers so these bugs don't spawn on them anymore. There we go. Let's go down here, do a little tuck and roll around. Whee! Fucking tiger beetle, get out!
Well, the reason they aren't in your house then is because you have fucking spiders in your house. Be nice to spiders, damn it. They're your nighttime friends and they keep you safe. From bad, bad bugs. Boy, I have been running around this island for a very long time. And not another tarantula spawned. A lot of other bugs, though. A lot of other bugs. Oh, yeah, dude, tell me about about it. Ohio gets really humid in the, in the summertime. And it fucking sucks. Yoink. Two atlas moths and two tarantulas so far. That's pretty fucking good. What's up, Shy? All you missed was that I caught another tarantula and I caught two atlas moths. <gasps> About to be three atlas moths. Hey, Sha. Okay, that doesn't change the fact that Ohio is still humid as fuck. Where is Chennai? Is that in India? Oh, make that four Atlas Moths. Dude. Frickin' heck yeah, man. South India. Oh yeah, I can imagine it being super humid there. That probably sucks ass. Oh, make that five Atlas Moths! Dude! I'm making off like a freaking bandit. Why hasn't another tarantula spawned though? It's spawning Atlas Moths like fucking crazy. Look at that! There's another one! Anytime I visited my family, I was trying to avoid getting. It. Yeah, oh yeah, I would too. Summertime plus humidity equals the suck. Shy. Why won't taran tarantula spawn? Look at this. Seven. Atlas moths. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. It's because these fucking tiger beetles keep spawning here. Oh yeah, no, the moth situation is fucking great. That's the eighth Atlas moth. All right, I'm gonna fill up these last three inventory slots and then I'm leaving this island. I don't care if it's with atlas moss or tarantulas, 
but I'm going to fill those slots up. <laughs> Another one. <laughs> oh my gosh. Making so, just so many Atlas ones. There's just so many of them. Yeah, moths like thread. They will eat anything that is thready. No, no, mind. They just do. They like the cotton. Ellis moth? No. No. I fucking love moths, man. Like, personally, I think moths are way cooler than butterflies. Butterflies are pretty, but moths are just fucking cool. That said, I will still scream like a bitch if a moth flew in my face. Give me a fun ant fact. Okay, now they've stopped spawning. something to munch on you can bet you what <laughs> no that tiger beetle jumped in the water like an idiot can't swim dumb bug hey hey come here mothy boy I'm gonna just uh, take it there oh, you can bet your ass that there will be a whole army of them within a few hours Really? What's a wingle ant? I'm gonna have to Google that. Oh, I'm getting tired. How many slots? I have one empty inventory slot left. Then after that, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna sell my shit. I know I won't get full priceage, but I'll get still a heck of a lot of money. Tarantula! Hello, Tarantula, my eight-legged friend boy. Come here. Oh, well, why are you running away from me? Are you scared? Are you scared, Tarantula boy? <laughs> you gotta strike when they jump! Inventory's full. Alright, I'm leaving. I'm ready to go home, Wilbur. I've been bitten by so many tarantulas. I'm surprised I'm not dead. Whew. I'm fucking tired. <sighs> Dude, speaking of ants, I was on a walk earlier, and at the bottom of my steps that lead out to the sidewalk, there was just a like a, just a fucking enormous pile of ants. <laughs> yeah. 
it was insane. I spit in it just because I'm an ass and they scattered. Oh, oh, 6,400. I just want to see how much. All right, you know what? I'm actually going to save all of these for tomorrow. I'll sell them tomorrow. And I'll take a screenshot and post it on Twitter. Of like how much money it made me. Go throw a few things in storage. Let me get this fossil assessed and then I will end this room. That's crazy. All right. Put in storage. Put in storage. Put in storage. I actually got to take the one tarantula out of storage and, and give it to Blathers for the museum. Wait. There it is. Erode the soil. I'll feed some plant roots. Yeesh. Destructive little shits, huh? Hey Blathers, I know it's super late, but I need you to assess this fossil. It's very possible. Ho ho! This is most assuredly a spino skull. Spino skull, quite remarkable indeed. Oh, we already have it in the museum. All right. Well, Blathers. I have your absolute worst nightmare. <laughs> oh, hey, buddy. Do you like tarantulas? <laughs> hey, bud. Eek, a tarantula. What a wretched thing. Alas, I'm obliged to ask. Would you like to learn more about this specimen? Please tell me. Ah, I see. In that case, <laughs> strange spiders go. The tarantula is qu said to be quite docile. But have you ever seen such foul fuzziness? It is a fact tarantulas have barbed belly hair. I say again, barbed belly hair. These awful arachnids let loose their spiky itchy hairs to protect themselves from predators. But seeing how tarantulas also prey on frogs, mice, and even birds, one must ask, who needs protecting from whom? Who, who indeed? Any hoots, my sincerest thanks for your donation. And though bugs are the bane of my existence, rest assured that the wretched thing will be- will get the best of care here. Is there anything else I can help you with? Nope. I'm good, Blathers. Oh yeah, funny we're talking about- <laughs> Funny we're talking about bugs. Alright, so I'm gonna sell- I'm actually gonna sell these, like, tiny bamboo trees. I don't fucking need them. Bamboo's not an aesthetic that I like on my island. Oh, and the spinal skull. Alright. <sighs> Well, I'm going to go ahead and wrap things up. 
So, just want to say thanks again, guys, for watching the stream. I appreciate it very much. Oh, we should listen to a song. Then the stream off, and I think you guys know which song I'm going to play. Especially if you've watched my Animal Crossing streams before. Uh, once uh, Spotify boots up. We move to this screen. Here's the Book of Nook by Starbomb. Now listen real close, I'ma tell you the sitch. Cause my name is Tom Nook and I run this bitch. Congratulations, you bought a new home. Oh, you can't afford it? I can give you a loan. You can get some bugs till the debt's been paid. Cause you're the newest member of my slave trade. That's right, motherfucker, this shit got real. I pull this cross with my ball steel. I also like a ruler with huge ass guns. And Timmy and Tommy, my giant mongoloid son. Captain the Turtle's gonna be a new guy. You can show you where the people who will cross me die. So give me a bell so don't misbehave. Or I got Mr. Resetti to fucking take you a claim. This song is so fucking goofy and I love it. Why is my index finger swollen? I don't know what I did. And that has been the Book of Nook, and that has been my Animal Crossing stream for the night. Thanks for watching. Tomorrow at 3 p.m. Eastern Time, I'm going to be streaming some Super Mario Maker. If you want to drop by for that. I actually might push the time back. Yeah, actually, I'll do that one in the nighttime again. So tomorrow night, tomorrow evening, like probably around the same time, like 10 or 1030 ish Eastern stream Super Mario Maker for a couple hours. It'll be a fun time. Thanks for watching the stream. Bye, guys.